The Honorable Associate Minister. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. It is a great honor to introduce two representatives from one of Canada's most respected charities, the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. Since 1918, the CNIB has been dedicated to independence and self-determination for Canadians with vision loss. And their work is critical, considering the sobering statistics. 75% of vision loss is avoidable, and yet another Canadian loses their vision every 12 minutes. Thankfully, the CNIB passionately provides community-based support and knowledge, and along with consumer organizations, they ensure that Canadians who are blind or are partially sighted have the confidence and skills and opportunities to fully participate in life. With us today, during Vision Health Month, is John McDonald. You might recognize his name. He's the former publisher of the Edmonton Journal and CNIB's new executive director for not only Alberta, but also the Northwest Territories. His list of accomplishments is a long one, and he looks forward to applying those experiences to ensuring that blind and partially sighted Albertans part receive the services they need. And I've been looking forward to this interaction for a while, uh, Mr. Speaker. With us today is the incomparable Diane Bergeron, National Director of Government Relations and Advocacy. Diane is joined by her beautiful guide dog, Lucy, and Lucy is a working dog. Along with working for the CNIB and volunteering for numerous organizations, Diane is a truly inspirational athlete. As a matter of fact, July 7th will be a magic day. Diane will be participating in the Great White North Half Ironman as the only blind participant. Yes, Diane is that amazing. John and Diane are in the public gallery. I ask all members to join me in offering the warm welcome of this assembly.